Believe it or not, this is exactly where Janet Campbell and Diana Frederick sat for many years in the old trailer that used to house the audio reader recording studios. Many of you volunteers who are watching this film will remember the old trailer and can probably still visualize the cramped and dilapidated headquarters that we used to squeeze into for volunteer recording. Things were cozy, to say the least. But as most of you know, an audio reader dream materialized in February of 1988 when we moved into more spacious and luxurious headquarters after the renovation of the old Phi Kappa Tau fraternity building. Let's meander on down the hill now to the new Bear Audio Reader Center. Needless to say, with the move, a number of changes have evolved, changes that affect the everyday experience of an audio reader volunteer. In fact, let's just take a candid, truthful, and totally unrehearsed look at what those changes mean and what it is like now to be an audio reader volunteer. As all audio reader volunteers know, the staff's philosophy is to pamper and please our volunteers. And the valet parking that we now provide 24 hours a day is just one of the everyday things that we do to let our volunteers know how special they are at Audio Reader. Good morning, Mr. Lesh. May I park your car for you? Be very pleased to. Fowler, when did you get out? <laughs> nice to see you again. Uh, thanks. George, thanks. that's good. How long have you been out? I've been out for about a uh, month and a half. Month and a half? Well, that's fine. And I haven't you, seen you up around here Yeah, you here can't before. even see the scar. No, that's right. Nothing at all. Can you I probably ripped the old boys so pretty good before they got you. Can I there, check the oil it? for you? Fill the tank Why up with gas? Why don't you do that? Do that and just leave it around anyway. Thank you. Oh, Thank and, you, uh, Fowler. Diana and Janet will let me know as soon as you finish reading, and I'll pull your car up for you. Right oh, here. Thank you so much. And this special treatment doesn't stop outside the front door either. We feel that it's important to make our volunteers feel welcome from the minute they enter our new and spacious abode. All volunteers, whether they record at 7:30 a.m. on weekdays or at 8 p.m. on a weekend, are always greeted on their arrival by a special welcoming committee composed of audio reader staff members. Uh, Let me take you. your hat. And oh, go. thank you so much. Yeah, it's a nice kind of chilly it. out there it this is. morning. It the is. snow is getting a little bit deeper. <laughs> I, I hope it's not really that oh, bad. Oh, and Mr. Lesh, here are some yeah. fresh cut flowers for your lovely wife. Oh, thank you. I know Roberta will certainly appreciate those daffodils. Certainly very lovely indeed. That's great. We hope she liked the flowers that we sent home with you last week, too. Yes, she did oh, enjoy great. those very much. Okay. Those were the uh, Arthuriums. Right. <laughs> and Janet's going to sign you in in the notebook now. Yeah, if you would do that, please. We would want you. you to get one. Right no, I realize that you have to kind of take care of me. Good morning, Warren. How would you like your eggs cooked today? How about poached over easy? Could Whatever you work you something like that? Sure, That'll certainly. be certainly mighty nice. I know that they'll be come out good with you doing them. And I want you to have your fan mail and your phone messages. Mr. Oh, Lynch. isn't that nice? Look Thank at you. all those. I'll take these. Going. I'll take these, and I'll have my secretary go through them all right. for me. Thank you. Well, so our much. listeners yes. certainly adore you, Andrew. Well, I know that they do. That fan mail is I just can't, can't imagine it. What we get for you every week. Nice. Yeah, it's it's the usual. A routine and running of stuff yeah. that I get. Yeah. Well, Janet, well you've certainly taken care yeah. of me very nice. Let's I'll go on upstairs. Warren, we're then. going to escort you upstairs like we always do. Oh, yes, this okay. is so lovely. Go up to the recording yeah. I'm going to hold the flowers up. All right. Since our volunteers give so generously of their time and talent to Audio Reader, our volunteer coordinators and other staff members do everything they can to make our volunteers comfortable during their recording sessions. In addition to a pre-broadcast massage, volunteers are offered their choice of beverage, either hot or cold. Volunteers are also served breakfast, lunch, dinner, or an appropriate snack when they take a break during their recording session. Oh, that is just so to lovely. loosen I your shoulder and neck that, muscles. Yes, indeed. We don't want our readers to be tense. We like those throat muscles and neck muscles to be relaxed. Lovely. I want you Just to enjoy your never had that. I tell you, that's what is so invigorating about coming up here with all of this exercise that we get.
climbing the steps and so forth and so on. You just never know what can happen from one time to the next. Oh, Janet has it something for you? It seems to get better, yes. Warren, can oh. I offer you your imported mineral water with a twist oh, of lemon and you. lime? Thank you. That's what we generally get every time we broadcast Just the way people. you like it. Yes, indeed it is. Yes. I'll just set it over here for the okay. time being. If now, that's Warren, the lemon right. in there yeah. should help keep your throat clear for recording. But oh, if yes. you have any problems, we do have some chloroseptic throat spray and some sucrets. Oh, thank you. you. That'll be very nice I'll if I should right need them. Yes. Yeah. Appreciate okay. that. Now, Warren, I've already yeah. threaded your tape for you, so you're ready to go. Oh, good. good. You have all your materials laid out. Something's done around here. And by the way, here is your $100 check for your today's recording session. Oh, well, I thank you very much for that because I was kind of wondering whether or not I was going to get anything oh, for sure. today. Of course. I know is. that it comes every time I come up here, and it is so fun to get these things. And you do yes. get those checks home to your wife now, don't you? Well, now, I don't know as we have to go through all that, do we? I thought <laughs> okay. this, this was just a little extra service money well, that I got. whatever you want to do with right. any money. Thank you so much. Yes, well, is indeed. there anything else we can do for you? I to don't make believe that there's anything at the okay. present time. If there is, you, you know where the call button is. Just yes, let us know. Yes, I will push the call button there if I need anything. Okay, thank and you. Thank Enjoy you your recording so today. Yes, Have a good indeed. broadcast. All right, bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> Gosh, Diana, we are so lucky to have someone like Warren. He's such a nice guy. Isn't he terrific, I tell you. Mm -hmm. And you know, I'm delighted that the KU administration quintupled our budget. Mm, so so I. now we finally have enough money to pay our volunteers these little cash bonuses. Mm -hmm. I, I think it adds something extra. Mm -hmm. Shows mm -hmm. them how special they are. By the way, how, how are things going for next year's volunteer appreciation oh, great, dinner? great, great. Yeah. Um, we've had the Hawaiian cruise ship booked. Mm, so we will Hawaii. be cruising the big seas to Hawaii. Mm. And I hear that... Um, the food on board is fantastic, so next year's Volunteer Appreciation Dinner is sure to be a hit with the volunteers. Ooh, sounds wonderful. Yes, just another day in the life of an audio reader volunteer, where champagne dreams and caviar wishes come true. Right, Warren? Oh, you are so damned right. Thank you again and again. Good night, all.